What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a just a basic uh, accuracy test. I don't have a bunch of different grain weights or anything. This is all 55 grain. Uh, so don't take this as an ultimate accuracy test of this rifle. So I don't have a, a good enough variety to actually make an assumption on it. I'm testing whether or not that CZ's promise as to if this is a 2 MOA rifle or not. And uh, I've already just got done shooting the group so I know what's out there. But pay attention because it does get interesting. This is all 55 grain of the more affordable brands. No match ammunition, nothing like that. This is a basic test of what the rifle can do with just regular ammunition. Again, I just got done shooting, so I know what it looks like out there. But what was very interesting is that 5.56 shot way better than all of the 223 that I sent through it. So, by far. Uh, spoiler alert, it's definitely capable of 2 MOA. Uh, so, I do know that it's probably capable of 1 MOA with better match grade ammunition or maybe some heavier grain weights so without further ado let's go ahead and check out the footage all right guys i got five targets sitting out there at 100 yards all i did was sight in this scope this is a crimson trace 3 to 12 hard line uh scope on here all i'm going to do is i only have 55 grain you know the affordable ammunition so i don't really have a bunch of different grain weights so it's just gonna be a simple what can you do with bs ammo that you can buy anywhere uh up first i have some steel case monarch and I do apologize for the wind if it kicks up. I'll just voice over from here on out. So if audio is kind of weird, there you go. I'm going to start off with a 55 grain Monarch. We do one cold bore shot off, care, off target. Three shots for each target. After that, I got some Winchester white box, 55 grain. After that, I have some Federal, uh, 55 grain laying around. I also have some Norma Tactical, 55 grain. And then, just out of curiosity, I have some 556 five, Frontier that I'm going to send through it, which groups pretty well in one of my ARs. And then I have some 556 five, Federal just to check to see if I can shoot 556 five, from it and to see what these all do. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm not going to make you watch every shot, but we'll just go ahead and put some at least on camera. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to take that first cold bore shot off camera or off uh, target. Just to get that out. We'll go ahead and start up the uh, groupings here. <laughs> it's about what I expected for this stuff right here. Let's go ahead and start off uh, secondly with Winchester. And there is nothing at all uh, with this stock that has to do with precision shooting. This cheek piece is barely there. Alright, so those two groupings look really crappy. But again, I'm only using 55 grain. I haven't really been able to test with any kind of... You know, 62 grain or 64 grain, 67 grain or anything like that, 77 grain. So, up next we'll do the uh, Federal on the top right. I have much better hopes for this Federal over that Winchester white box and that Monarch. I can tell with that federal ammunition right there, just again using cheap, affordable 55 grain. Uh, this is definitely capable of one MOA. I know a lot of you guys are talking about this, Chuck. This uh, stock and cheek piece being uh, questionable as to whether or not you can shoot accurately. Um, that looks like one MOA out there. I'd like to see what it looks like up close. All right, up next, we have the Norma Tactical 55 grain. We're going to go ahead and send it on the lower left okay so i've had two primer strikes uh two light primer strikes with this ammunition i was using it the other day so there's one and even throwing the case back in there and hitting it again with the primer or with the firing pin didn't let off so i don't think it's a light primer strike on the fault of the gun i do believe it's this ammunition that was given to me That went way off up to the right. It's a pretty widespread. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna throw that one in there. Okay, 
Uh, I'm gonna skip the other Federal 556 and just go straight to this Frontier 556. Again, this has not been confirmed through CZ with me directly or anything like that, other than reading on their website that it does say American US based customers with 223 chambered rifles can shoot 556. So shoot 556 at your own discretion as of this video of this date. Uh, but I'm sending it through based off of that information that reads on their website. This is Federal Frontier 55 grain. Shot pretty good through my AR. So I'm curious to see how it does here. I have high hopes for it. Let's find out. Okay, that doesn't look too bad at all. Let's go ahead and get some closer looks. Okay, you've seen each group uh, after each session of shooting here. Again, this is the uh, Monarch 55 grain. Again, first of all, I just wanna put this out here. Uh, this is not a good accuracy test. This is accuracy potential that you can see up here with only one grain. Uh, and with that twist rate, it might like a heavier grain. So with that being said, we'll show you the best groups again. And then maybe, the, then maybe there's a caveat to all of this. This is the only one that was uh, five, five, six. And so again, this is, uh, I may need to send some more five, five, six. And that's probably what we'll do after I show you these real quick. Uh, the next better one was this right here, which was the Federal. 55 grain and I thought I hit all of them within this. I thought there was a double hole here Which would have been easily under one MOA had I not gone way up there now Every time I pulled the trigger my crosshair was right here and it was a good squeeze So I know those went where they were supposed to go and I'm not sure what is going on uh, With these groups opening up like this uh, It just continually gets worse from there. This is the Norma tactical We had that one light primer strike, but you can see this is still way out there. This was the Winchester white box uh, psh, I mean, you, there it is, look at it. And then this was the uh, Monarch steel cased. And again, pretty wide spread right there. My rings are tight, my scope is not moving, my trigger pull is good, but this is what I'm looking at. But this is oh, the only one that's 5.56. Five, so I'm just gonna, out of curiosity, uh, send some 5.56 five, of that Federal right here on this and I'll put a sticker here and here. Just to see what that's gonna do because if we start getting group, good groups with 5.56, five, well, then I know what I'm switching to for whatever reason. All right, so I suddenly realized that I was calling that Federal Frontier. This is Hornady Frontier is uh, what I was shooting that made the good groups on that one. But up first, we are gonna use this uh, American Eagle right here, 55 grain, 5.56. Five, Again, just to see uh, if it's a 5.56 five, thing that's just making it shoot better. Now, I can tell you all day long that I was confident in my trigger squeezes to know that I made that good group on the 5.56. Five, you can believe me or not, but just to eliminate me as a shooter or anything like that, I'm gonna shoot this 5.56 five, three shots again. I'm also gonna shoot this Hornady Frontier uh, three shots again, the 5.56, five, just to uh, show you that I can get a baseline good grouping out there. Just to show myself as well. All right, up first, American Eagle, 5.56, five, five, 55 grain. It's definitely better than the rest of them, but let's go ahead and again get a baseline. Since that Frontier, Hornady Frontier ammunition did the best, I'm gonna see if I can replicate that to eliminate myself as having issues with all the rest of the ammunition for whatever reason. But again, this is just a baseline. We'll do that, re reproduce that uh, grouping. We'll shoot right above that target. Sure where that went. Hopefully it was the same hole. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Let's go take a look. All right, just a quick recap. This was the first session of the Hornady Frontier 556. Five, and to give you a baseline, I went over here and shot 556 five, American Eagle. And this is two MOA, which is what CZ guarantees for these rifles. Had it not this counted this flyer right here, that would have been easily under one MOA, but this is actually under two MOA. And again, to give you a baseline, here is the second round of the Hornady Frontier. Two holes in one and one hole right there under 
two MOA, so that's about one MOA actually. Uh, had I not, you know, threw that one out there, this could have been really, really good. So, what's to be said from this test right here so far? Again, this was all 55 grain, all right? The only thing that we changed was 5.56, five, and it seems to me, of just the two 5.56 five, five, uh, ammo brands that I threw it, is uh, preferring 5.56 five, for sure, because it is nowhere near as inconsistent as this 2.23 uh, that I ran through it. Something happened right here. This was going good. I have no idea what happened right here. But we eliminated me as the problem to be able to produce you know, tighter groups easily because this is way out there. I don't throw shots like that, that far out there at all. I've had many 14s group better than this with cheap ammunition. But that being said, two MOA, under two MOA, had I not thrown that one, uh, that is easily under one MOA. This should not be taken as what this rifle can do kind of accurate accuracy test. I'd really like to test out some more grain weights before I make an assumption on what this rifle is actually capable of. This is just cheap 223 ammunition that I had laying around and this is also cheap 556 five, ammunition. None of this is match grade, so do not take this as, you know, what this rifle can actually do. And so on the second note, then everybody keeps bringing up the stock. I don't think the stock is causing me to throw these shots this far because there's no movement in the scope whenever I take my shot. My crosshairs is right here when I pull. So it's not like the stock is making me wiggle around or anything like that. So take that for what it's worth guys and be sure to check back. We're doing some more shooting with that one uh, just to kind of have some fun with it. But now we know what ammunition to go with. Definitely that Hornady Frontier. Catch you guys on the next video.